Hi Year 3, I wanted to start today's maths lesson by th saying thank you to all of these children who have been sending in their maths work. So well done to everybody in 3P. We've got Jacob, Oscar, Rose, Maggie Bow, Madison, Sophia, Natalie, Jessica, Rosie and Charlie. In 3C, thank you to Ella, Noah, Poppy and Kaylee. In 3H, thank you to Casey, Joel, Raman, Thomas, Cameron, Georgia, Charlie, Sunny, Oscar DA and Sophia. In 3B, thank you to Alfie, Zach and Esme Grace. Please keep sending in your work and if you're not on there, we know you're probably working hard at home, so ask your adult if they can send the work in for you. Keep up the hard work. Our learning objective for today's lesson is to know the three times table. You will need a book or piece of paper, a pen or pencil and a pair of scissors. Make sure you check this with your adult. The key vocabulary we will need for today's lesson is counting, even, odd, divide and multiply. Good morning Year 3 and welcome to today's maths lesson. We're going to be focusing all on the three times table, working out multiplication questions and a couple of division questions to really test our knowledge on the three times table. Now we're going to start with using the counting stick to practice counting in our threes. Now remember, we always start at the zero because zero times three equals, well done, zero, we haven't got any. So it equals zero. So we're going to count up together and then we're going to go count back down and I'd like to hear you counting as well please are you ready zero three six nine twelve thirteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven thirty well done right this time we're going to count backwards and I'd like you to use a whisper voice okay thirty twenty seven 24, 21, 80, 50, 12, 9, 6, 3, 0. Great job, well done. Right, we're going to have one more time counting up, okay? And this time, I'm not going to say the numbers. I would, I'm just going to point and I'd like to hear you guys saying the numbers at home. Are you ready? Excellent, well done. Okay, I've taken a few numbers off the counting stick. Hmm, do we think we can still count in our threes? I think we can. Let's count together and this time we're going to shout the numbers. Are you ready? Zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. 30. Great job. Okay, I hope you were shouting really loud. Right, who can tell me what three times 10 is? Well done, 30. What about one times three? Three. Five times three? 15. Seven times three? 21. Okay, we're going to take away some more numbers. We're going to count along together again and this time I'd like you to use a really, really deep voice. I know 3H have practiced this a lot so let's get our deep voices out. Are you ready? Zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. And we all know that I can't do that voice without frowning. Okay, I wonder if you did as well at home. Great counting year three. Let's have a go at some more questions. So, nine times three is 27, well done. Five times three, excellent, 15. Zero times three, zero. What about eight times three? 24, well done. Four times three, 12. Now, is that the same as three times four? Yeah, it is, well done. Three times three, nine 
Great job. Let's have a little go at some activities that we can do to practice our times table and be a little bit more active. Okay, you three, we're going to practice our three times tables this time, being a little bit more active. Now, you could do this in a space inside at home. You could maybe, if the weather's okay, you could go outside and do it to get some fresh air. Okay, but you will need two objects. It could be cones, it could be um, cups like I'm using, it could literally be anything. You could go from table to table, however you want to do it. Okay, but I've put them down and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one. I'm going to tap it say the multiple of three, and then I'm going to run to the next one, tap it and say the next one. So my turn first, have a watch. Zero, three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, and I keep going until I get to twelve times three, which is thirty-six. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, well done you three, I hope you enjoyed that. Now this time, I'm going to count, but I'm going to go backwards. So I'm going to start at 36. So I'm going to use a different movement. Okay. Last time I was running. This time I'm going to sidestep from cone to cone. You could have a go doing it with sidestep. You could then maybe also try using a different action. Okay. It's up to you. See how creative you can be with that. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to go 36, 33, 30, 27, and so on, all the way until you get down to zero. Your turn to have a go. Pause the video. Okay, I'm going to create some flashcards to help me remember my free times table. Now, this, is, this could be something that you also do at home. Now, to do this, you will need some paper, a pen or pencil, and a pair of scissors. Okay, make sure you ask your adult if you're okay to use the scissors at home. Now, on my piece of paper, I'm going to start by writing the three times table fact. So I'm going to do one times three equals, and I'm not going to write the answer on this side of the card or piece of paper. Now, those are my first ones. I would go all the way up to 12 times, but I'm just going to show you how to make it with these ones first of all. Now, with my piece of paper, I'm actually going to cut it so that I've got four separate pieces here. Okay, now you can see I've now got what looks like flashcards, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is on the back of each card, I'm going to write the answer, okay? So, what is 1 times 3? Well done, it's 3. So, I'm going to write 3 on the back. 2 times 3. Now, I would do this for all of the multiplication questions up to 3 times 12. Then I've actually got my own set of free times table flashcards. You could use these in lots of ways. You could test yourself by looking at the card, working out the answer, flipping it over to check. You could ask an adult or a sibling or anyone at home if they could hide them around the house and you could go on a, on a hunt to try and find them. When you find them, you need to work out the answer for you to keep the card. Um, you could ask somebody else to sit with you and test you on the multiplication facts because they will be able, you'll be able to see the question and on the back, they will be able to see the answer. Okay, it's up to you how you use them, but it's a nice useful tool for you to use. My question now is 15 divided by 3. Now, what do we know about divide? What relationship does it have with multiplication? Well done. It's the inverse, okay? Which kind of means it's the opposite. So, we're trying to figure out 3 multiplied by what gives you the answer 15. Now, if I look at this, it says 15 divided by 3. And what I could do is count in my 3s until I get up to 15. How many groups of 3 is in 15? So, count with me. 3, 6, 9, 12... 15. How many did we count? Well done, 5. So my answer would be 5, because 5 multiplied by 3 gives me the answer 15. Have a little go at this one. Okay, what answer did you get? Did you count in your 3s? Well done, the correct answer is 7. Try this one next. Well done, I hope you're counting your threes again. 
The answer is 11. Well done, everyone. If you're choosing the Chili One challenge today, I'd like you to go onto Google on the internet, type in hit the button. You'll then come up with a screen like this. You will need to click on the times table button, then it will take you to this screen and I would like you to select the times three and you can practice your three times table. If you're choosing Chili Two today, here are some boxes for you to fill in. Remember, some of them are multiplication and some of them are division facts. If you're choosing Chili 3 today, here are some statements for you to compare. You'll need to work out the equation on either side and then put inside the circle whether it's greater than, less than or equal to. Then there are also some extra questions along the bottom. These questions are very similar to the ones that we looked at earlier in the week. Here are the answers from the Chili 2 questions, so you can pause the video now and mark your work. Here are all the answers for the Chili 3 questions, so you can pause the video now and mark your work. Well done today, Year 3. I hope you enjoyed the maths lesson. Just to remind you that we are setting daily tasks for you on my maths, so if you haven't already had a go, head over and see how many of the tasks you can get completed. See you next tomorrow.